Hey everybody, welcome back to some more ActRaiser. I'll be your host for this evening, The Reasonable Gamer, after I take a drink of my water. <sighs> Alright, so they say the same thing at the beginning, and then we get people that start to talk to us. And these people are saying, hey, this is Cassandora. It's a desert town, like you know, you just moved here. Alright, send rain to wash away the sand, because... We don't want it to be a desert town anymore. Well, okay. I guess I can do that. So if you go to rain, yep, send some rain, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to send rain? Yes, yes, I would love to send rain. Okay. So we have a lot of SP. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to use up as much of it as I can. And then I, I will meet you when I'm out of SP. Okay, I got rid of a great deal of desert area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start building. And in Cassandora, it really doesn't matter the order and stuff that you build. So, um, we're gonna go with the closest dudes first. And, you know, it's kinda weird for me. I, I don't know if these are actually exciting to watch or anything. Um, some of them are pretty cool. I mean. You know, <laughs> earthquakes and rain and stuff being called in from the sky, and you know, certain things happen once you defeat um, one of the monster layers. So it, I don't know. Some people might find it. Oh shoot! Oh well, we'll figure that in a minute. I know it's unexpected, but our people in Castor have something to tell you. Yeah. Uh oh. People went into the desert and lost their way. Please lead us to them. Um. Couldn't they have at least waited until uh, I was done with the rain? <laughs> anyway, this is what I was all shooting about. This is one of the places where you can use the wheat. So that uh, people... Oh, that's where they are. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take care of that in just a moment. We want these guys to do their thing here. Come on, town under construction. So I think one of the tough things about LPs like this is when to cut and when not to cut, when to start talking, when not to start talking. Because I think some of the best commentary happens when you're not really expecting it to happen. So it's kind of hard to say when that's going to happen, because you never know. <laughs> hey, there's the bow with the arrows and blah blah blah. And I think that means I have two of them, right? If I have two of them, yeah, I'll use one. So now these red demons can go down with just one hit. Which is cool, because I don't really like those guys anyway. Alright, cool. Send some more rain. And it looks like I have a lot of SP again, so unless I say something interesting, I think I might cut. But, you know, again, I don't know if I should or not, because part of the LP is actually listening to the lp -er talk during the LP, I mean, and provide some meaningful commentary and whatnot, right? So I'm sure you want to you hear me say something exciting and new and hip and whatever. <laughs> um, at this point, all I have is Xbox One news. <laughs> oh, look! My level's increased! Yay! Alright. Did you guys know that you can actually watch TV through Xbox One? <laughs> Alright, yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I had to. But I've seen so many things about the Xbox One that I just thought I had to mention it. Now, as you guys have probably noticed, my channel is full of Nintendo games. I am a Nintendo diehard fan through and through since I was a kid. And, uh, yeah, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I did own the first Xbox, the real Xbox One, not the fake Xbox One. Um, but I, at this point, I just don't see any reason to get the new one. Uh, I didn't get a 360 either, but it's not really because I didn't want to, per se. It's more or less I didn't want to spend the money to support more than one system. So I went to GameCube Wii Path, of course, which makes me not a diehard gamer, quote-unquote. <laughs> I don't know. But I think there were some really good games for the Wii. I mean, um, 
of course, the Mario Galaxies, obviously. I mean, I did LP Super Mario Galaxy. I thought that one turned out really great. Um, oh, the arrows run out. I did not realize that. Um, man, that threw me off. Oh, and I was going to say, I actually liked uh, Skyward Sword quite a bit, too, even though it's got a lot of negative feedback from a lot of people. I don't know why. Mm. And we all know that the deal with Twilight Princess, how it's actually a GameCube game or whatever. So... Yeah, I'm not I'm not counting that as one of the Wii releases. Alright, we're almost done with this rain. Blah 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 blah. The problem with with the rain is there's just all oh, this text. Jeez, I wish there was a way to just get rid of the text. If there wasn't so much text, I wouldn't feel like I'd have to cut so much, you know? Oh well. What I don't understand is why don't you want it to be a desert, you know? Granted, yeah, civilization, blah, 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 but I mean, we don't want the whole planet just to look like green flatlands everywhere, do we? I mean, wouldn't that make it kind of boring and dull? And just kind of blah? Yeah. Well, I guess I, since I'm the ruler of all or whatever, I, I guess I can decide if that's really a what I want to do or not, but I just don't see the need to do such a thing. Okay, town under construction. I get the idea. Alright. Yes, let me send some more rain. Oh. Rain fell on the northern desert revealing a pyramid. Oh. Okay. Ah, I found a pyramid in the in the desert. Now, wouldn't you think that that type of pyramid would be sticking out of the sand? I mean, the sand looks really flat, right? And it's not like I use a lot of rain, it's just a little sprinkle. So there couldn't have been that much sand. Come on now. All right, so now we have, I think we have displayed where all of the monster layers are pop these guys out here. Oh, I popped him off the edge. Alright. Oh, cool! Look at the little tents! That's awesome! Alright, come on. Stop saying town under construction. Okay. I know my original path was kind of strange, but what I want to do is start sealing up some of these guys. Also, there's some some, uh, um, blah, 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 blah. discussion about this guy here. Some people say that you should wait to save him until like the very end of what you're doing if you want to have gigantoid population, whatever. Um, I don't know. I just feel like rescuing him now. He's like poor guy, you know. I just why why would why wouldn't you help him, you know? And look, sadly, life has already left the missing man. Oh, while well, he was holding a scroll. Well, give it to me. I'll take it. Anytime. And then, you hear this cool music. And apparently, Cassandora is the birthplace of music. So, uh, they give you a little hint here. By listening, people can calm their hearts and soothe their pains. And they present music as an offering. Oh, more news. We found a strange scroll at the foot of a mountain just south of here. Cool, I'll take that. Anything else? Holy cow, what else do you have to say? Ruins have mysterious attraction. Okay. Hmm. So there's something wrong with the pyramid. interesting okay well we'll have to figure out what's going on there in just a minute won't we let's see if we can build right over the pyramid or you know they'll they'll say something about it 
But now you got this awesome song in the background. I think that's pretty cool. Come on. Loop. There it is. Do, 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 do. We're sealing another's monster's layer. I bet somebody could make some awesome lyrics of this song. But it really is a very peaceful song. I like it. What do we find? Strange statue. Okay. These statues really aren't that useful right now. Yeah, I think that's great. I love that. I love this tune. I mean, yeah, I know it's not like some die-hard tune that um, some of the other games in this genre have. I mean, you know, this is supposed to be more of an action game, I would think. But this this is a really moving song. It's really calm. Oh, I gained a level. Yeah, level 10. And there's a lot of songs I just love to chill and listen to. You know, if you're in a bad mood, some songs you just like to, um, you know, listen to metal or something. Just to enhance that feeling. Because for some reason or another, sometimes that, that grungy me metal or, you know, rock type song just helps deal with whatever you're dealing with. I mean, in a, in a strange way. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. And then, of course, sometimes you you need something like this just to counteract what you're feeling, to kind of go against it. So, yeah, I think this is a very cool change between the two. All right, got it. The pyramid revealed its true purpose. The pyramid is the main monster's layer. Uh oh. We'll have to go and take care of that pyramid. Can we get any more population out of this first, though? Because I really need some followers. Yes, I can. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill up Cassandoria. And then uh, I'll cut back into when everything is filled up. Alright, so I just did an earthquake because I wanted to clear off some of the weaker buildings. And now I think I angered the people. Oh, thanks to the earthquake you just caused, some of the pyramid walls have fallen. And they found a jewel. Cool. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to take... Um, the music. Yep, yep, thank you. Can I take the... I, I, you already told me all this. I would like to also take um, the Source of Magics, and I want to also take um, the other Source of Magic, of course, and give me the Jewel. Source of Life. Very important, very important stuff. I don't really want the other stuff right now. Eh, maybe I will take it, but I'll, I'll do it off screen. It's nothing exciting, okay? And back to cut. Okay, so we've gone ahead and maxed out all of our population. But before we go and um, end this video, there is one more thing we want to do. And that would be go back over to Blood Pool. And um, observe the people here. And then what we want to do is use Offering the music. Oh, can't you tell what the man was feeling when he wrote this? Sure, Jeebus, this music will calm people's hearts and help eliminate quarrels. Oh, man. It's extended its borders to the far reaches of the ocean. The man's invention of a device known as a compass, our navigational ability has improved tremendously. We present this compass to you as an offering. Please accept it. Okay. So before I forget what to do with this, I am going to take this compass. Oh, I got a scroll here too. I'll take that. And then I'll show you what to do with that. I'm, I'll, I will, first I'll get the scroll and then I'll show you. Okay? Okay. So with the compass, we're going to go up here and go back to Fillmore, which I said we'd never see again. 
But we will, because we want to actually use our compass here. So then they can navigate the open seas. And once they do that, um, somebody finds something, I don't know. Not yet, but they will eventually find something. I wasn't reading good. Did they find something already? I don't know. No. Okay. So if we wait here for a while, and I'll wait off screen, they'll find something. Okay? Okay. Alright. So we waited, and... Strange Jewel! Okay. So if we go and we take our offerings... Oh! Another source of life. Wow. Wow. These must not be that rare. So then what, the last thing I want to do is I'm going to move, um, I'm going to back to Blood Pool, and I'm going to wait until all this population goes up, and then uh, I'm going to go back to Cassandora and prepare to fight the uh, pyramid monster thingy guy. Okay? So next time, you will see me and Cassandora with a bunch of followers from blood pool that are new and we will also uh be ready to fight the, the monster guy dude man things till then